out in sleepy bags. What are you guys doing? We're in sleepy bags. Gray, what kind of bag are you in? What animal? Dinosaur. A dinosaur and Porter, what are you in? What animal? A cat. A cat. Yeah. I think it's a tiger, but Porter insists it's a cat. Are you guys having a sleepover? Yeah. Oh, that's so fun. Yeah, I'm having a sleepover. Ooh. We're just laying in the hallway here, <laughs> getting dressed, and Porter spotted the sleeping bags and wanted to lay on them. And I said, let's do it in the hallway where there's room. I think one day, <laughs> not too far away, they will be... Probably using these to sleep over at friends' house or grandparents' houses. And they'll be sharing a bedroom soon once baby sister gets here. Huh? Do you guys want to share a room? Yeah. <laughs> they sound unsure. Good morning, you guys. It has been several days since I have last vlogged. Usually there's always the same reason why I don't vlog in a while and it's usually because somebody is sick and that has happened again. Um, this is like, I want to say like the third cold that the boys have come down with since Grace started preschool. What, we're in December now, so almost a cold month, but not quite. <clears throat> and I was just thinking, and I always get myself on this, I was just thinking the other day like, wow, we've gone so long of being healthy like I hope we can stay healthy through like Christmas and then earlier this week gray all of a sudden got a fever which is different because usually like we don't usually deal with fevers usually it's just like runny nose cough whatever but this time Grayson had a fever high fever it was like 102 103 um, so we've been doing medicine for him and then of course anything gray gets Porter will get to and so um two days ago Porter started burning up and so he had a fever too um so it's been a really rough couple of days I've been telling Anthony it's our H-E-L-L -L week because it's been really really hard with the kids they've been moody and grumpy and not listening and um really sad I, I feel like Porter had it worse than Gray the other time when we got the really bad sickness, Gray had it worse than Porter. This time, Porter had it worse than Gray. Um, he was just so sad, so sad. <laughs> and then it was just like so hard to do anything. He didn't take a nap the one day. Last night, he woke up at 3 a.m. and just cried until like 4.30 so yeah it's been really rough but it's friday gray is feeling a hundred percent better porter is on the mend he isn't hot anymore but he's still a little under the weather but i'm vlogging because today let me turn the camera around what are we gonna do today go to sleep, go to sleep? <laughs> well yeah i hope so but what are we gonna do after nap time today you make cookies with crumbs <gasps> Are we gonna make Christmas cookies today? I wake up. You woke up? Oh, good morning. <laughs> Yeah, so we are going to make Christmas cookies at my mom's house today. We did this um, last year, and the kids absolutely loved it. And so we decided to do it again this year. Um, my great-grandma, who has passed away now, has these sugar cookie recipes that we really only make around Christmas time. Um, and I swear they're the best sugar cookies I've ever had. Anthony disagrees. He says they're too doughy or whatever. But I think they are the best. So we're going to make those today. And then we're also going to make my other um, grandma's uh, recipe. And we're going to compare the two. So the boys absolutely love helping to bake, especially little Porter. He is my baker, my helper. He loves taking the ingredients and putting them in the bowl and turning the mixer on and watching it. And of course, they both love taste testing after it's over. 
So we're gonna do that after nap time today. So I plan on vlogging. It's gonna be me and the kids and my mom. And I think my two sisters are coming. Definitely my one sister, Allison. I'm not sure if Kelly's gonna make it or not. And we're gonna make some cookies and probably make a mess at my mom's house. I'm sure she's dreading it, but it'll be so fun. So we're gonna do that. And then tomorrow we are gonna go do lights at the zoo with my sister, Allison and her husband, Garrett. So I'll definitely have to vlog that too. So a fun weekend uh, coming up, a uh, fun Christmas activities. The last two big activities I had on my list were Lights at the Zoo, even though we've already done it once. I love going with my sister and her husband. It's like, we go every year, ever since Anthony and I moved to Columbus. So like five years ago, we've always gone with them. So that was on my list and then making Christmas cookies. So we're knocking those two out, which is awesome because it's still only like December 9th. So we're doing really, really good. I was thinking back last year, we waited until like the end of December to do anything. And we just like jam packed it all into like the last week before Christmas and it was hectic and crazy. So this year we are much more on top of it. I'm also much more on top of my holiday shopping. Have you finished your holiday shopping? Um, I've got all the gifts for the boys. Um, my family, we do Secret Santa for siblings, so I've got that gift done. We also do a pet Secret Santa because all my siblings and I have a million pets. So I got that gift done. Um, Anthony still needs to get his Secret Santa gift for my siblings, but he had a Secret Santa through work, a Secret Santa with his friend group. So he's got most of those done. We got um, parents gifts for my parents and his parents, grandparents gift for my grandparents. So. Um, yeah, we're actually really on top of it this year. I'm really happy with how it's going. And yeah, anyway, I'll just vlog a little bit here and there of today. Hopefully it's a better day than the past couple of days because it's been a really rough week. Porter wants me to go get him some milk, so I'm in the kitchen getting him milk. Um, but what I was saying is I just feel like I've been so anxious lately just with all the sickness and stuff and the boys not feeling well which is weird because i really haven't been anxious a lot lately and but with this sickness like just not knowing how nights are gonna go and not knowing like when the boys are gonna get better if it's gonna get worse um has really been taking a toll on me so this has been a really rough week but we've been trying to keep our spirits high yeah anyway i'm out of breath I'm still pregnant. All that's been going well. No worries with the baby. Um, I have my next doctor's appointment coming up soon, but I'm gonna go get dressed. And then we gotta open up our advent calendars. We've been doing our advent calendars every day. We have a Play-Doh one and a Disney book one, and they both love both of them. At first it seemed like only the Play-Doh one they liked, but now like they want me to read the books over and over and over again. So both of them were hits. So that was really good. And of course our elf, whose name is Present, has been moving around our house as well. So we'll, we'll have to go downstairs and show you where he is today. Say hello. Hello. Say hello. Hello. Boys are drinking some milk. Uh, Yum. And what are we making for lunch? Macaroni and cheese. Macaroni and cheese. Can you sing the macaroni and cheese song? Good singing. Comment down below if you know what movie that song is from. I think it actually would be really hard for people to guess it. But anyway, it's been a couple hours. Uh, we're making lunch, mac and cheese, and then we'll probably play in the basement a little bit. I wanted to show you guys our elf. Where is our elf? Where is Present? <laughs> oh, Present is hanging out on the window today. He's watching us cook some lunch. And what's he eating? An apple. He's eating an apple. He must have been hungry. Do you think Present is telling Santa that you've been good or bad? My first What? Is it, oh, there's an ant. Okay. Yes, we have present sitting on the window, and then 
The boys opened their newest Play-Doh. There is so much Play-Doh, you guys. Every day they open up a new one and it's a new mini Play-Doh and it's a lot. It's kind of taking over our whole table. Peep the uh, scrambled eggs that my boys did not eat this morning. Um, so yeah, it's just kind of a lot. <laughs> it's a lot of Play-Doh, but the boys love it. And then here's from our Disney book. Like here's just, they're all scattered everywhere, which is again, messy, but um, all different Disney books. It's a new one each day and the kids love it. They make me read them over and over again and they have small words on them, like small prints. So there's a lot of words to read. So that's been fun, but it's been keeping us occupied. that his new thing i swear he went to preschool and now he says i know all I the time when i ask him questions and i think he learned it from his friends at preschool anyway it's the next day i'm in my jammies um we're just hanging down in the basement i actually Hello. just went and got all the train tracks my grandpa um had a train set growing up or it was like his brothers or i don't even know i actually don't know who owned this train but my grandpa was like oh here i want to give you this train so we we're like oh yeah thanks and we got it like two years ago and then i guess we were supposed to set it up last year i didn't know we were supposed to set it up last year and so we like met up with my grandparents around christmas and they were like oh you never put up your train and they were kind of sad about it so now anthony and i feel like we need to go and set up this train and my grandparents are going to come see our house tomorrow because i've never seen it yet so yeah, it's crunch time. We're gonna try and set up this train. I'm gonna make it an Anthony project because I am not good with the building of trains. But I did go in the crawl space, which is getting very hard to go into with my big belly. I'll show you what our crawl space looks like. Porter got into the uh, toys. I have two boxes full of toys that I rotate and Porter found them. So he's just having a blast. But as you can see, like it's <clears throat> like this comes up to about like my chest. So it's good storage, but like it's really hard to get up there when you have a big belly. But anyway, I was going to close out this vlog and then start a new vlog. Yesterday was so much fun. Grayson said it was the most wonderful time. 
what did he say? It was the most wonderful day of the year. I think that's what he said. They had so much fun baking cookies. I managed to get a couple clips and they loved it. They helped pour the ingredients into the bowl, turn the mixer on, mix the ingredients, taste test. They did a ton of taste testing and then they cut out the cookie shapes from the cookie dough. Porter was like obsessed with the snowflake um, cut out. That was like the only one he wanted to use. And then uh, they put the cookies in the oven and then we frosted them. So they loved it. Grayson was funny. He liked it. He liked each station for about five minutes and then he was like, all right, let's move on very much his personality whereas porter was like just happy to do the same thing over and over again we also made puppy chow and i love puppy chow yeah it was a really fun time um both my sisters came and my parents and then we had the boys so it was really fun um a great christmas memory i love making cookies i was just talking to my mom yesterday about how we're probably gonna have to make more christmas cookies once it gets closer to Christmas for Santa because I don't think these cookies are gonna make it because <laughs> it's well we made it on the 9th and Christmas is on the 25th so I mean we'll see but I think we're gonna have to make more cookies which I don't think the boys will mind but anyway I'm gonna close this vlog out and then I'm gonna start a new vlog because we're gonna go to lights at the zoo tonight so I'm very excited about that so anyway thank you so much for watching do you guys make Christmas cookies um, do you have a certain cookie recipe that you make? Is it sugar cookie? Is it gingerbread cookies? Um, let me know down below. But I hope you guys are enjoying the Christmas season. Um, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!